we're loading back into the ACS update. First thing I want to do is check to see if there's going to be any new codes for you guys. I'm also going to sneeze right here. Huh. <coughs> yeah, sorry about that. Anyways, uh, there's three new codes you guys actually chainsaws gummy bear and fixer upper So when you first join the game uh, Yeah, okay first turn again go to the cart right here three new codes enter the first code chain saws just like that redeem They got you guys 2500 gems and then like a potion wait that gave me a lot of potions actually I wasn't expecting that um second code is gonna be gummy bear so g-u-m-m-y-b-e-a-r Gummy there, second code for you guys to use, redeem that. Also gave us more like pots and like other stuff to use. And then the last code is fixer upper, F-I-X-E-R, U-P-P-E-R, uh, U-P-P. <laughs> um, anyways, fixer upper gets you guys all those stuff right there. And look, we have 65 new items in our inventory, including quite a few pots. I think we got like three of each pot right here. And then we also got some like reroll stuff and so on and so forth. But the Halloween update is still here. But that doesn't matter because this update is actually filled with the new chainsaw man update so if you guys look over here under the update log we got new world saw blade city three new quest lines one new transferable mythic skin huh um okay a new raid coming next weekend now i'm gonna say the new raid system i don't like that they need to bring raids back every week it just i don't know there's nothing to do without the raid, uh, except for AFK Open Eggs. Two new Halloween quests, easier skin management, select all and select view button added to scrap quickly. Okay, so now you can open this quest or this pumpkin orb easier if you have a ton of them, uh, which is really hard to do. If you guys didn't know, they made that really hard for some reason. Oh, look at the eyes. I never even noticed her eyes like that. And then going back here, champion index, your current and past champions are there. Collect your new champions to increase your DAC pack size. So that's another thing that didn't increase your DAC pack size for the skins and so on and so forth. Under your achievement here, as you guys can see, I have a lot more inventory space now. I have up to 700 there, so that is pretty great. And then we look at our skins. I have 800 skin inventory as well, which is pretty awesome. Kind of wish I did this before the last update. But anyways, the new chains on the end map is like this. So you first talk to the leader here, um, you get her quest, and she's going to ask you to destroy some of these guys. So I'll just show you where the guys are. Tomato devils are all up here, you know, standard first spawn area. Second place you're going to jump to is right down here. You're going to follow the path, right? Follow your nose through this. I don't know. Anyways, right here. These guys are right here, the zombie brutes. These are one of the guys you're going to have to fight. And then to the left, you actually have the zombies over here as well. So zombie brutes and zombies are all right here. Third thing you guys got to fight is like in here somewhere. There's like a mini boss or something like that. And it's all the way in the back. Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. Okay. I just got five, nine talent tokens from that. That's crazy, actually. What? I didn't know that they would spawn here, but yep, there it is. And then uh, the mini boss is right in here inside of this. It's the zombie devil. That's how you guys unlock the next zone. Next part of the zone, at least. And then you guys are just uh, kind of here. And it's not as massive, okay? Once again, they made a ginormous map. But yep, there's more zombie devils here. You come through here. You complete the quests out here. And then you go all the way to the end, and you'll find another quest. One of the quests out there is to like find the hidden cat and whatnot, and I still haven't found that quest, but it is huge somewhere. I don't, I don't know, I'm not gonna try to find that cat right now, but it is there if you wanna finish everything. Here is the raging bats, and then back here, where this raging bat is, let me just fly so you guys can kind of see where I am. So, spawn is like all the way over there, and then the next area, which is the final area, which is where you're gonna have to go to destroy Katana, is gonna be on this train here. You guys probably already saw the teaser for this already, but there he is, there's Katana. I have been leveling up my like strength team a little bit, so I am kinda able to destroy Katana decently quickly now, um, but like they raised the level cap to 220, so like my strongest unit currently is doing 260 million damage, which is, you know, pretty good. It, I'd say it's not the strongest thing ever, but still pretty good if I were to equip for example like the mythical skin that you get from like opening the black or egg for example or like even of these like the vampire lords or whatever look at his damage right I equip him his damage is literally at 837 million now you guys remember he doesn't get an ability he doesn't get anything else so he just does a lot of damage so as long as you're not losing harmony, he's a really good unit to have on your team, especially 
if you, you know, want to do a ton of damage. Okay, there we go. Nice. Uh, is that the right one? Okay, there we go. There's my team right there. We destroy Katana super duper quickly here. But let's go ahead and check out what's in the new egg, shall we? I have been AFK for the last, like, I don't know, 48 hours now. As you guys can see, and you've probably already seen, I have gotten 14 of the new Chainsaw Man Summon Castles, and there's still two times, like, actually, I don't think it's been 48 hours yet. Very close to, though. And then I also have three Huntsman Summons, which I will be doing here very, very soon. I also have enough Cosmic Essence, so we should be able to destroy everything relatively quickly here. But let's go ahead and see what is in the egg here. So let's go ahead and turn off this right here. We're not gonna lock it. But we're gonna see what's in there. So open one set. What did we get? We got Angel, Kobe, Hina, Mako, and Devil. So we got the four low ones right there, which is great. Unequipped ball. Let's see what they all look like here. So we got Devil, Angel, Hinamaki, and Coldenies. There they go. Let's see their attacks. I'm kind of excited to see this. So first, there's Devil and Angel. Devil did a little bit of like bleeding power, I guess. Oh, that's cool. Wait, the animation kept going for Devil and Angel. That was nice. I wasn't expecting that. Then we got Kobeni and Hin Hin Hiname, or Hinamaku, how however her actual name is in the anime. But here is Hinamaku and Kobe. So Hinamaku punches a ton of times and Kobeni, like, does a somersault. But, um, anyways, those are the common units, the rare and the epic. So wasn't expecting too, too much from there. We can fuse them now. Now let's try to get this legendary and maybe even the Chainsaw Man. Uh, King, please, please don't make me do this. Uh, you know, you know what it is. I gotta equip my team. I gotta equip my luck team here, and then of course I just gotta pop another luck boost because I have so many boosts. Because I'm in Japan, if you guys didn't know, um, and I am just trying to AFK. All right, there's Fox Man right there. We got five of him. As soon as we pop the luck boost, we have 107 luck. Um, unequipped all. Here's Fox Man. Let's see what his attack is going to look like on the katana. Hopefully he looks really cool. I'll, I'll try to get like a side view. Maybe that'll look even better for you guys. So there's Fox Man. Let's use his ability. He jumps back. He jumps forward. He attacks and he does it. Oh, there's even more. Oh, he summons the wolf too. That was cool. See, that was cool. That was cool. I like that one. Let's turn that off. Maybe I can get the mythical and a few summons here. Let me do a quick little summon session here to try to get though. You know what? Wait, no, I don't have to. I already summoned one. Look, I I already summoned one of the chainsaw man right there. So there he is. There's Denji. I got a godly or whatever these are called again because I forgot now. I got a ton of the godlies from the AFK opening. But there's Saw Man. Let's see his animation because usually they do a really good job of these animations. So there it is. Okay, he's destroying himself. Oh, that's sick. Oh, that blood looks so cool. What? Yeah, that was pretty cool. I gotta say it was like less intense as like the Ichigo one or the Gon one, but still super duper cool. But that doesn't matter. You guys all probably have already seen this, but I wanna see what the new Makima Cosmic unit looks like. So we're gonna go ahead and open all 13, 14 of these capsules that I have. Hopefully we get ourselves a godly Makima, but if we don't, that's okay. And then maybe you guys will get it. I did get my first godly a little while ago, so I'm already pretty happy about that. Am I still on leaderboards? Cause I feel like I've fallen off cause I've been away. 7.87 million. Oh, I've fallen off the hordes leaderboard, no. I literally was like top 10, so unfortunately I've lost that position there, but that is okay, I guess. Let's go to the cosmic section here. I am having fun in Japan, so I can't complain. All right, 14 of these. Let's go ahead and go into a, well, let's see what I get here first. If I get Makina, that'd be cool, and that way I can go into a little time lapse and so on and so forth, but uh, no godly. Is it gonna be Makina though, game? You gonna get in here? You gonna get in there? Yeah, yeah, maybe? Nope, we, we, we got it gone. Yep, okay. I actually opened like three of these capsules earlier too, so I had a total of 17 of them, I think. And nope, did not get a single Machina from it as well. Not another godly, and probably not even the Machina, honestly. Let's just be realistic here. Like, the game doesn't like me, it hates me. It's like, why are you in Japan? Come back and get your top 10 leader lords. Ah, yeah, yeah, I got her. I got her. I got the leader Machina right there. Oh, she looks so good. Wait, why does she look so good? Oh, I'm really excited. Okay, okay, here's Makina, guys. Let's equip her here. Uh, let's let's transform into her. Yeah, let's see that. Oh, she has an aura too. Nice. Okay, that's sick. Look at her face. Wait, let me see it. Look at her eyes change. 
Oh yeah, look at that. That eye has a little cosmetic effect to it. Let's, let's go ahead and just test her out really, really quickly here on one of these mats. Let's go back to the Solid Light City, test out her attack, and then we'll do a quick little time lapse opening up every single one of those units that I have from the capsules there. Oh gosh. Ah, no, 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 no. Unequip. Unequip. Equip leader. 1.9 million damage. Nice. Not bad. Let's go attack this tornado devil, and then let's see what she can do. One two three four and then five hits i can activate her ability uh it turned the enemy small we got some oh okay hold on i think i need to go attack a stronger enemy give me a second all right this enemy has four billion hp let's use the ability let's see what she can do so there she is right there she like does some red beans she starts making red stuff up here um and then she shoots them Oh, there's more! Whoa! Okay, that was kind of cool, not gonna lie. Like, like, I don't know the lore of how Machina works, so to me, it's like, oh, it's a lot of red blood-looking stuff, which is basically what Chainsaw Man is. But let's go back over here to the final cosmic capsule area here, and hopefully we'll get ourselves a godly cosmic... Wait, wait, there's another quest here from Vampire Lord? Oh, then 50,000 orbs, huh? All right, well, that wasn't there before. I'll have to AFK to do that. But let's go ahead and time lapse this. Hopefully, we get ourselves a godly cosmic, and we'll be right back. But, uh, yeah, time lapse. Go! Another gone, and now our last one right there is going to be our gone and only godly. Nope, not a godly. It's not gonna be what I wanted, but that's okay. I did get myself actually a ton of the Kisukes and like a few Gons as well. So the Makina rates were pretty low, but there she is right there. There's our Makina leader unit. What I'll do right now is I'll go with Sender and then uh, that's probably gonna be it here. Uh, no, this is the Ascension area. Go back here, go to the Ascension 2 area. Boom, boom, boom. Select Machina. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven out of the 14 were Machinas, which I guess isn't terrible, but it definitely could have been better. Convert, select one, and then two, and there it is. We got ourselves an Ascended to Machina unit right there where she leader. 2.3 million damage right there. And then I, I, I guess before I end, I can do a few more rolls here since you guys like watching rolls. But here's a talent machine roll. I should have a few of these. I have 202 of these. Nice. Okay. 202 should at least get me to get her to like an S potential, maybe. So let's see. Triple S on everything, of course. Is the goal. Oh my gosh, we got triple S on ability damage. What just happened, huh? All right. Well, that was great. Oh, we got an S on speed. All right. Anything 95% and above is great. I don't want to. Oh my gosh. 95%? Wait. Are we just going to get. Oh my gosh. That was amazing. The only thing I would want is maybe this to get a little bit more, but we, we, we literally did it. And it only took us like 30 of those. That was crazy good. What? Um, yeah, our, our unit is now doing 2.9 million. Am I gonna get like an amazing quirk here if I just select this and auto roll? I have a ton of the medals actually. Giant, let's get Celestial Black Hole Assassin. Let's also get Sniper for now. And I think those are the only ones I want to try to start re-rolling here. Maybe I'll get something good real quick. Uh, ooh, Giant would have been really, really good to start off right there. The Let's see. Let, let's do 10 more rolls. I'm not going to sit here and try to re-roll right now. We'll have to do that sometimes later. We did get a ton of medals, though, from fighting the boss AFK for the last day and a half or so. So that's fairly decent. And that's with, like, a lucky team, too. So I didn't even have, like, my damage team equipped. So, honestly... I think they changed some stuff up and made it a little bit better, which is good. It's going to help the game out. Um, but hopefully they find a way to make this a little bit less AFK, even though AFKing is a good portion of it. Um, having more raids, having something else to do, like the tower. The tower is a great idea. It's just impossible to do because I can't even get to like room 180, I don't think. So there's nothing else I can do with the tower. But hopefully they add like some new features very, very soon to the game. For now, I think that's going to be it. I don't think I'm going to get any special quirks anytime soon. I used all my luck right there, summoning for the stat potentials. But I'll have to end the video here because my friends are trying to go. So I'll be going here, guys. Anyways, 
If you enjoyed this, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, turn notifications on. I hope you guys get really, really lucky, luckier than I did right there, and get your own godly celestial SSS unit. All right, I'll see you guys later. Reese's thesis. Bye.